for the very first mock draft of the 2021 campaign. Again, we are in May. The draft is in June. And we will touch on the first team with the first pick, the Pittsburgh Pirates. The first selection they, uh, the experts have them selecting is Keith Fong, first baseman, lefty, lefty, 22 years old, from the home, his own home state of Pennsylvania. 5'10", 190, uh, seems to be about an average uh, hitter. Defense is actually, I guess, better than average for most first basemen. Speed, not really there. He doesn't pitch at all. Um, he does have a potential he's 22 years old. Next player they have up is Russell Eller, uh, 21 year old South Carolinian, 6'3", 196, lefty throwing switch hitter. Uh, has two fastballs with a four and two seam variety. Curveball coming in at 82, slider at 87. Um, he's got at least average per nine. Pitching clutch is kind of not really there all that much, but again, he's a young guy. Uh, good velocity, okay brick, fielding is not there. He doesn't really hit worth a damn. Durability is is, is solid though. Um, 74 potential. Uh, Brian Young, 22 year old first baseman, lefty lefty, 60 potential. As you can see, his hitting numbers are again okay. As far as minor leaguers are concerned, uh, 40s for contact, 20s for power. So he's not your traditional power hitting first baseman that you see on a lot of teams throughout the league. Um, D potential, again, 60, they, they have him rated as, which means he's probably not getting much better than maybe mid 50s, if at all, depending on how long he plays. Durability to 63, um, not very fast, 50 speed. The first baseman, it, this was a really curious um, mock pick for them to take back to back first baseman, at least within the first, you know, like two, three rounds. All right, next is Josh Goddard. As you can see up top, uh, hit per nine, K per nine in the 60s. So that's good, you know, for an 18 year old player. He will give up the walk and the long ball. Velocity is all right. Control is going to need work. His break is okay as well. He throws a fastball, slider, curveball, and a changeup from the 18-year-old West Virginian, 6'2", 193. <clears throat> Arm is okay. Um, his durability is definitely up there, and I kind of would expect that from a young guy. He doesn't have any injuries of note. And, uh, yeah, you know, he's a lot of these guys are going to be projects anyway. Next, they have Robin Molina Agency. Already have to take two relievers, two first bases. Uh, eventually, it will take two uh, starting pitchers and a catcher, which honestly, I think this is a terrible mock. Um, anyway, we'll still touch on these players. Robin Molina, South Carolina, uh, lefty uh, batter. No, sorry, lefty throwing. Uh, 21 year old starting pitcher, two fastballs of the four and two seam variety, a circle change to complement the two seam and a curveball coming in at 76. Good stamina, his per nine is good in need work, especially hitting K per nine. Um, walks and home runs per nine are all right. Um, his control is a little better than average, um, with uh, coming at about a 58. His velocity is not really there, so he's not going to get much higher than like 93. Uh, arm is not really there, which kind of, you can tell by the, uh, the velocity on his pitches. His arm really isn't that strong. Um, not a puncher for a National League pitcher. His durability is good, though, so he may outlast, you know, some of the other guys that may uh, end up in the minor league system just based on the fact he's able to stay on the field more. Uh, Owen Lawson, a uh, pole hitting catcher from Illinois. His contact is better against lefties than righties. His power is better against lefties than righties. Um, another project piece, guy's gonna need work, 63 durability, and for a catcher, it really ain't that good. I mean, it's okay. Um, it doesn't help he doesn't play another position or else he doesn't probably be able to up that, you know, up his durability, you know, not playing behind the plate so long, save his knees a little more. Good arm, 75, 73. His fielding is eh, his reaction is ooh. So is blocking. 
you could say forty speed is fast for a catcher, just because not too many catches are even remotely fast, and he doesn't throw anything, so you know you can't really expect him to uh, change positions and become at least a reliever or something. And last but not least, Luis Fernandez from New York, fifty-two overall seed potential, lefty batting, lefty righty throwing pitcher. He's got good stamina. Her nines are okay. He's twenty-two though. Um, velocity is all right. Break is, you know, better than most. Um, throws a cutter, curveball, slider, and a changeup. It's a good mix of pitches. I'm sure he's going to work a lot of that cutter and slider together because they both have the same general motion. You know, going uh, to east to west. Arm is all right. He does hit a little bit, a little bit. 14 contact, 14 uh, right and left, you know, 9 power, you know, he, he, he may be able to eke out a couple hits, you know, here and there, he's not a bunter, uh, not very fast, and he doesn't play another position, so don't expect another Shohei Otani. If I had to give this draft a grade, uh, C minus, like, you got two, maybe three decent players, but you didn't diversify this at all. Like, the Pirates need a lot of help in a lot of places. But, it is what it is. Oh, Cardinals fans, y'all better get excited, because uh, it looks like y'all really, really got some good picks here. But, this is a mock, so. First pick, John Sanborn, 95 potential, from Vermont. I don't think I've seen so many players the baseball play from Vermont, but it is what it is. Stamina is okay for a starter. He might just give you five. Um, five solid in this, which is fine. All right, hits per nine is good. K's per nine, walks per nine, home runs per nine, not too shabby. Need to work on pitching in the clutch. Control is all right. Velocity is definitely good. Uh, 96 on the four seam, 92 on the two seamer, 12 six, and he change up to complement those other first two pitches. Fielding, eh. Uh, arm strength is good enough. Accuracy, he's going to be a little off. He's a switch hitter, but can he bat? Eh, he can bunt, if anything else. His durability is all right enough um, for a starter. Next up, the future or potential replacement for Yachty, uh, Rafael Aguila, uh, <clears throat> Rafael Aguila uh, is got good contact, righty and lefty, he's not half a power, he's from Puerto Rico, actually he might have even went to Yachty's camp, uh, according to a lot of reports, um, I believe, yeah, he did go to, uh, you know, a Puerto Rican uh, baseball league or something of that nature, vision is good. For a guy that you got coming up uh, 18 years old. Fielding is going to need work, so you know he definitely didn't catch the uh, defensive bug from Yachty. Not very fast. Uh, he's going to, again, his defense is going to need to work. If his defense can get a lot better, or even a little bit better, whether it's arm strength from working with major league trainers or something of that nature, you know, he may be able to get that power up. He's definitely major league. Next up, Lucius Nettles, first baseman from Georgia, is solid uh, contact, going to need some, some bop, unless that's just not his thing. He does bunt, does bunt at least average well, or average, at best, um, durability good, fielding, it is what it is with first baseman for the most part, unless you're absolutely terrible, and it does not have speed. Next up. Enrique Ojeda, Ojeda from Dominican Republic. Um, his bat is going to need some work. Granted, he's only 19, but damn, he's got an epic beard. Uh, I'm like twice his age, and I can't grow nothing out like that. Durability, elite, he'll, he may stay on the field, though his fielding is just not there. He's fast, so he's definitely a pinch runner, but not the fastest. Next up, Robert Stockman, and as you saw in the second bar there from Maryland, He's got 80 lefty contact. He has major league left-handed uh, pitchers scared already. Uh, 
but will he get to that level? Vision is at a 69, so you know he's nice. Uh, a lot of that may be may contribute to that 80 contact. 53 against righties, you know, not too shabby. Uh, durability is 76. Fielding is good enough that you know what, you can probably stick him on a major league team. Uh, speed is not too shabby. Again, this guy is probably AAA for at least a year, and then boom, you're going to see him hit the ground running. Probably as a backup to, not probably, as a backup to Nolan Arenado, unless the Cardinals want to get rid of him all of a sudden. Next up is Monty Santiago for Bonima. Hits righties very well, despite what the numbers show there. Hot and cold zones, are, you know, they, they don't always translate. Oh boy, he needs a lot of work. Does not field, not the best of stamina. Decently fast. Decently fast, but I give him that. Next up is William Valentine uh, from New York. Lefty throwing D potential. He's got borderline starter stamina. You know, when you hit the 60s, it's kind of like, how many innings are you really going to give us? You know, if you're getting hit around, a lot of guys are fouling your stuff off. You know, you may be tired in the fourth. Um, walks per nine is good, actually. Um, going to need to work on the rest of the per nines. Clutch, he's all right. Control, eh. Velocity, though, is his calling card, which I probably shouldn't say calling card because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys who watch this are probably younger than me and don't remember calling cards, but any of them, 98 on the fastball, probably gets that up to 100. Curveball, 83, slider at 90, and a sinker at 93. He is going to be a serious problem. Don't put a bat in his hands. He is very durable despite being a very hard thrower. boy another high potential player another closer though with a high potential which i'm starting to realize i think may be a thing uh closers may just have just they just their potential just tends to be a bit higher than most anywho this is not a shabby draft from the cubs granted this is a mock this is buford brewer the righty throwing switch hitting closer from iowa Interesting. He may spend some time with the Iowa Cubs. Anyway, four seam, two seam, and a slider, 85, which is actually relatively hard. Um, it's got some stamina, you know, for a closer. I Meaning you might get two, might get two innings out of him. You know, maybe may get the six out um, save, or even a nine out save if you know you, your your bullpen's really ravished like that. Per nines are good enough. Um, pitches clutch well enough velocity is okay break is all right does not hit worth for damn despite being considered a switch hitter next up is jay yang from taiwan uh four pitch repertoire four seam two seam change of slider uh, great stamina his hit per nines is damn good um he also won't walk guys too often uh, maybe at a, a, a slightly above average clip um, pitching clutch, uh, velocity is good, arm strength is there, does not hit worth a damn, but he is very durable. Next up, Reynaldo Mora, uh, he hits righties, if anything, he hits righties, contact pretty damn well from Nebraska. Um, contact against lefties is alright, his vision is good, his discipline is good, his clutch is not too shabby. Um, he's going to need to work with a trainer, his durability is just not really up there and he doesn't feel all that well um he is fast enough though um, to you know uh, handle you know, maybe running down some balls in shallow right field uh, next is max mcclure massachusetton uh, am i saying that right somebody correct me in the comment section anyhow uh not too bad with the bat in his hands could probably use some power um not much of a fielder Durability is kind of 50-50, but damn, that dude is fast as hell, um, which seems to be the, the going thing, you know, for a lot of teams nowadays. I don't blame them, um, or maybe just in this draft. Who knows? Maybe we didn't have too many power hitters, so they said, oh, let's try to take some bags, get some base stealers. Next up is Bruce Gomez, and if you look all the way to your right, you see that man is throwing straight gets ass. 18 years old, 50 overall, but a D potential. Um, okay. Relief pitcher. Uh, his hit per nine is not very good. He must be pretty wild with his pitchers or something like that. Though his control is at a 46. K 
case for now, he's going to get guys out just off the strength of how hard he throws. 99 mile an hour fastball probably gets it up well over, yeah, well over, but over 100, closer probably to a world as Chapman levels. Uh, curveball in 83, I think we've seen it as high as 86. Um, two seamer and a sinker, which I'm sure he'll pepper those in to really mess with hitters. Uh, break is solid enough. He uh, good arm strength, not much of a batter, but he is durable. May eventually see a closer role if he can ever get his pitches under control. All right, lastly, we got Brian Aguilar. Uh, hits per nine, K per nine are good enough as a relief pitcher from Illinois. Um, gonna need to work on everything else in his game. Velocity is good enough. Uh, four seam change up cutter and a curveball. Um, don't put a bat in his hands. He's good enough, uh, durability wise. You might be able to get more than two it, more than an inning and a third out of him before you gotta replace him. And yeah, those are the cubbies. Oh boy. All right. The Reds have a fair amount of picks and they seem to pick, they seem to get players from all over the place. Granted, this is a mock. Brian Bolito, the 93 potential 19 year old closer from the Dominican Republic, throws two fastballs, four and two seam, and a curveball. The switch hitter, though not much of one. Whoops. Um, yeah, not much of one. His per nines are not too shabby. Um, given he's going to be out there in a limited capacity, he may be able to get away with it, with you know, only throwing three pitches, not having the greatest per nines. Um, break is very good. Arm strength definitely up there. Accuracy accurate as hell. Um, gonna he's probably gonna kick a couple balls around or whatever, but you know it is what it is. Next up, Wally Crook, the second baseman from the nation's capital. Contact. Not too shabby. Power, just not there. Vision, all right. It's all right for the guy with fragment in minors. Durability, very good. He'll stay on the field to probably help his bat. Um, fielding, very good for a second baseman. So again, he he's gonna stay. He's gonna stay on the field. Like unless you bat significantly better than him, good luck getting on the field. 52 speed though. And not very accurate at that. Uh, ooh, here's an odd name I've never seen before. Maxwell Bostavka uh, from Iowa. Okay. Uh, 51 stamina. He's got the hit in Caper 9 to be borderline a major league guy. Probably more like a garbage time reliever. He's only 20 years old, so he'll probably just spend some time in triple or double A. Home runs per nine, good. Better than a lot of guys in the majors. Uh, pitching clutch and control, again, better than a lot of guys in the majors. Um, velocity, very good. Or at really least good enough. Uh, 92 on the two seam, 12 6. The slider coming in at 87, the changeup at 84. Don't ask him to field. His arm strength is good enough to get him by. Don't put a bat in his hands. He might get injured from time to time, suffer from maybe a wrist injury or your fingernail broke or something, you know, because guys are divas next up is 63 potential to 67 overall fred das uh, he's got the major league bat doesn't have the power for a third baseman but his vision and discipline are damn good you're gonna have a hard time finding a guy in the draft better th at you know being able to recognize pitches and lay off of those same pitches um, 85 durability He's gonna stay out there to maybe hopefully, hopefully help his own power numbers. Um, 75 fielder, he's definitely going to play pretty much every damn day. Speed, I mean, if you can get speed from a from a first or third baseman, fine. Um, you know, speed is kind of a luxury in my opinion. Like you're not gonna you're gonna have a hard time finding it. Um, next up, Tony Laker. Four seam change up and a curveball, borderline start of uh, stamina, hits and K's, his K's per nines, his really per nines in general, are all right. Um, pitch and clutch, you might not want to put him out there in even a medium leverage situation. Uh, velocity, you can get by with that. Break good, fielding, eh. and arm strength is good. Do not put a bat in his hands, but he will relatively stay healthy. Next up is Dave Abe. Uh, David Abe, sorry, I called him Dave Abe, and I barely saw his name. Uh, 67 stamina. 
case per nine. You can work with that. The rest of his per nines are rather average for most pitchers. Velocity up there. Two seam slider at 90. Curveball at 83. Uh, a 12 6 at that. 865. Break 84 and change up. Good fielder for a pitcher. Good arm strength. Good reaction. Bat in his hands is just not going to be the thing. He's elected. Next is Kenny Evans. 22 year old Massachusetts. A shortstop, which is about average with the bat in his hands, which really isn't the worst thing in the world. And I'm near near 50s for most of those numbers. Maybe not the uh, vision discipline clutch. Is an okay fielder. Uh, got the arm strength, you know, not elite but good, and he's got the speed. Um, he'll hit he'll hit righties better than lefties. Usually. Next up is Carlos Lopez. Mexican center fielder, 22 years old, lefties, he hits lefties much better than righties, even if the numbers show, durability, solid, fielding, not so much, speed might be masking some of the deficiencies in the fielding, he might be even worse than 40s, rated, and that is the Cincinnati Reds. Oh boy, um, Bacon, the creator or the you know, the originator of the Bacon's Fiction roster, is going to at least love this pick. 99 potential on the very first pick, starting pitcher, Alexi Zamora, elite stamina, uh, damn good uh, walks per nine, very good to hell, great velocity, break up there, he throws Two fastballs with a four and two seam variety, change up in a slider, arm strength, bingo, Californian. I'm a little jealous, I'm not gonna lie. Don't put a bat in his hands, and his durability isn't that high, but he's a 69 overall. Y'all know the running joke on YouTube. Next up, Rodney Merrick. Uh, he also throws four pitches. Um, his K for nine is Wolf are actually pretty good. Um, switch hitter, don't put a bat in his hands. Um, velocity is good. Control is good enough. Um, not much of a field. There's arm strength if you can get to it. Is good enough that you don't throw a guy out. Um, throws two fastballs. The 12-6 curveball in the slider. That seems really devastating. Um, next up, we've got Dan Davia. A uh, Davila. Sorry, there's no extra L. Um, very good L. Major league ready contact. Power maybe not so much, so he's a second baseman. Vision is good enough. Uh, fielding just not there, and speed is... Listen, you're going to be able to take some bases with him, whether it's first or third, or just stealing second, or maybe occasionally just stealing third. Next up, we got Willie Comstock. Uh, the K per nine is good, or at least good enough. His hit per nine ain't, um, or really any of the other per nines, or his pitching clutch. His control is decent enough. Velocity is all right. Break is good. He is a damn good fielder for a pitcher. Um, arm strength solid enough. Throwing a four seam, a curveball, a changeup, and a slider. Next up, we got Tim Grove from Texas, 22 years old. Hit the lefties contact better than righties. Pretty much average else across the board. Does not bunt worth a damn. Is Okay, speed-wise for a second baseman case, but his fielding is probably what's gonna, gonna you know, keep him in the game. 82 fielding, not much of an arm. The action's a little slow, but I mean, with that fielding, that fielding is what's gonna keep him on the field and maybe help improve his righty batting or really just the batting in general. Next up, Robert Vogelsang from Pennsylvania, lefty, lefty. Deep potential, um, 19 years old, 96 stamina, 85 hit per nine. You are not getting hits off of this young man. Um, gonna need work with the strikeout ability, but he seems more like a pitch to contact guy with a fastball, sinker, curveball, and a changeup. Uh, velocity, not really there, it's all right. Break is good enough, not much of a fielder, and he might have a noodle for an arm. <laughs> Bat in his hands, he's at least 
a 50-50 bunter, and his durability is good enough again, he'll probably see some major league time at some point. Lastly, we've got Jim Titus, 22 years old, who has a goatee. Damn, that goatee thick. Um, anyway, hit, his uh, hitting ability is all right. For a guy who will probably end up in the minus for a couple of years. Uh, fielding is okay. His arm strength is there. I hope he plays another position. Maybe he plays right field. Uh, we're unable to get that in the scouting report yet. Speed, not too bad. Does hit the high pitch good against the lefties. Anything middle or lower, not so much. Um, and will definitely swipe a bag or three if you give him the opportunity. 